Marco Tulli, I'm the director of Senu. And I'm Roxana Maro, I'm the producer of Senu. And we are participating with a short film that we shot in Miami's Little River to create a film that explores the relationship between man and nature and art uh, through surrealism. Hi, my name is Jose Navas and I'm the director of The Raptor, El Balsero. I'm here with Joe Cianes, he's the producer of El Balsero. It's a movie inspired by the true story of the very first Cuban migrants to reach the United States on nothing more than a makeshift raft. The year was 1964, the man was Reynaldo Cruz. He traveled six days, 367 miles, and uh, began a mass exodus of over uh, one million Cubans coming over here, escaping Fidel's government. We are here with the movie uh, Buñuel in the Labyrinth of the Turtles. It's a traditional animated movie who tells the, the story about Luis Buñuel when he was doing Las Urdes, Tierra Sin Pan. And uh, it was it was the, the story of him trying to find his own language. But overall, it's a, it's a friendship story between uh, Ramon Azin and Luis Buñuel, who they both of them they they made this documentary and made history with the with the tour this. Hi, my name is Hans Weingartner. I'm a film director from Germany, and I'm here to present my movie movie 303. It's a love film and a, and a road movie. I'm happy to be back to Miami because I was here in 2005 already. And uh, it's a great place. Our film's called Standing Among the Living. It's a, a film about Tyson Conte, a filmmaker who has explored his journey through the Ebola crisis 2014. He might want to tell you a bit about the film himself. Um, Standing Among the Living is uh, a film I made during the Ebola crisis in 2014. Um, it's about being selfless, it's about being ready to give your all to try to help um, save the lives of the people around you, your neighbors, but also it's about telling the stories, the real stories that, about what was happening during the Ebola crisis. Um, of course, the name Ebola sounds like a threat to everybody when you had the name Ebola and during the time you need, um, you see the NGOs, government paying big monies to go back and film the stories, film what was happening. But then I was filming all by myself, without money, without being paid, trying to tell the stories, the actual stories, no manipulating them, but tell them how it happened, you know, during the time. And that's what I am proud of about Stand Among the Living. Hi, I'm Rudy River on Sanchez, and I'm here at Miami Film Festival enjoying this beautiful weather and the people here. The hospitality is amazing. I brought my film, Is That You, in Spanish title, Es Tu Papa. It's the first psychological horror film to be made in Cuba, and I hope uh, you can see it tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the Silver Spot uh, Cinema. See you later. Bye bye. Our movie is Miami Basel Arts Winter Playground, where we studied the economic, social, and cultural impact that Art Basel's had on the city of Miami, and in so doing, um, we learned about the impact that art in general has had on the development of this city, and it was uh, it was an honor to, to premiere it here at the Miami Film Festival. And I think that we wanted to protect this uh, amazing story and how it was an accessible city to bring art and this uh, amazing uh, convention to this uh, this uh, growing city. And we 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 learned the stories of the people that founded the event and the pillars of Miami that brought it here and helped grow the city culturally, economically, and uh, for real estate perspective. It's, uh, it's unbelievable and we're just excited to tell this story to the world and hopefully uh, everyone will learn a little bit about, uh, about our city and uh, how this uh, art fair uh, has helped it grow. Exactly. Hi, I'm Jairo Bustamante, director of Tremors, Temblores. It's a Guatemalan film. I'm very happy to be in this American premiere. Hi, my name is Juan Pablo Lislager. I'm the lead actor in Temblores. And I'm very happy to be in the Miami Film Festival. You know, this is a movie talking about oppression, about society who don't permit the freedom of some individuals just because they want to have all the people in the same way and it's talking about religion too and how this religion when it's not following the love rules can be very very devastating to people.
Hey, my name is John Sage. I'm the producer of uh, This Is Your Cuba. This is our world premiere here in the Miami Film Festival. We're really, really excited. Uh, last night we actually found out that we won the HBO Ibero-American Short Film Award, and so it's been a crazy, crazy weekend, and we're having fun. Hola, I'm Mylene Calianes. I'm the executive producer of This Is Your Cuba, Estes to Cuba. We're very happy to be here. Back in my hometown for me and the director, Brian Robao, and I also attended Miami Dade, so this is very exciting, and it's exciting that um, to have the world premiere of this film, especially here in our hometown, and to win the HBO Ibero America Short Film Award. Hi there, my name is Trevor Roach. I was the cinematographer on SS de Cuba. I'd like to thank the wonderful community of Miami. This is the first time I've been in the city. Uh, it's been engaging, it's full of life, full of color, full of passion, and I love it as a cinematographer. It's just great to see so much life in the city. Mark Pulaski, I was one of the producers on Huracan, um, which we premiered. We had our red carpet premiere last night. It's a made Miami movie about an aspiring MMA fighter who um, is over, trying to overcome disassociative identity disorder. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're really excited you know, to be premiering in Miami. We made the movie in Miami. Um, this is Mariana Serrano. She's also representing a different film, Escape, a short film here at the festival. And she also worked on Huracan. Um, and yeah, we're just really excited to be here. Great. Hi, my name is Marlon Johnson, and I'm co-director of the film Singular, along with my partner, Dennis Scholl. We did a feature-length documentary about the greatest living jazz vocalist, Cecile McLaurin Salvan. Um, it had its premiere here at Miami Film Festival, and she did a concert directly following uh, the film, and we're excited that we're able to be part of a fabulous event. Uh, you are here with uh, Jimmy Jean-Louis and uh, Junior Samadou from the movie Rattlesnakes uh, that he directed and that uh, he I acted in, and I produced it as well. It is a neo noir psychological thriller. Yeah, it's very uh, thrilling. You know, it's one of those that uh, from the very beginning you just want to know what's going on, and until the end you just don't know. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of brutality, a little bit of uh, twist, many twists. Mm -hmm.